Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review Killer Rack. It's a killer comedy with big eyes. Directed by Greg Lamberson, starring Jessica Zolak, Debbie Rashan, Sam Qualiana, and Paul McGinnis. Killer Rack is about a woman with low self-esteem who decides to go in for some breast implants. Her surgeon, Dr. C. Thulu, decides to give her some demonic breasts that go around eating people. So what did we like? It was hilarious. It hit all of its jokes, I felt. Just the constant breast references was absolutely hilarious in this film. And this movie wasn't taking itself serious, so it was nice to just sit there and laugh with it instead of at it. It was actually really, really funny like from beginning to end, thankfully, because a lot of people try to make cheesy movies and they fucking nailed it. I really enjoyed that they knew what they were doing with the cheese. They got straight to the point, which kept it really funny. They even added a musical number and a lot of times that's hit or miss, but I felt in this one, they nailed it perfectly. The song, just listening to the lyrics and all the dance moves, everything was just really fun. You could say it was a bag of fun. Oh my God, easy. <laughs> I knew that was gonna come. <laughs> God damn it. Speaking of the music, that's one thing that really stood out to me. It was really fun and upbeat and kept me really entertained. Considering the campiness and the cheesiness of this movie, I thought that the acting was pretty on point. Um, especially from our main lead, Betty, played by Jessica Zwolak. I thought she did a killer job. No pun intended. She actually, like, seemed pretty natural when she was in, like, awkward situations. And she was above average considering that she hasn't been in many other movies. Even all the support cast that was there, everyone played their parts. Like, the two guys sitting on the corner, like, heckling all the girls. <laughs> they were really, really entertaining. Also, Sam Coliano was pretty funny. <laughs> he was quite the dick. <laughs> yeah, he was a complete <laughs> douchebag, but he was funny. Considering this was an Indiegogo campaign, I thought the production value was pretty high. You could tell they took advantage of all the locations they had and all the actors they used. They used a lot of actors, which is very surprising. I was really impressed with the camera work. I, uh, specifically, one of the scenes when we have the two cops talking to Betty on the couch, and the camera's just kind of like on a dolly, like going back and forth between the two cops talking. I thought it was great. And in general, the camera was never distracting. Like everything looked nice and we didn't have to point out technical flaws when it came to the camera work. Even their audio was of good quality. A lot of times in these films, we hear the background noise, we hear all that extra noise that really distracts and takes away from it. But these guys actually took the time to go into the studio and record ADR for their dialogue. And this film was relying on its dialogue for most part. So to take the time and effort, they really did a good job. And how can we forget Dr. C. Thulu herself, Debbie Rashan, our favorite. She was wacky as fuck, <laughs> and she played the crazy mad scientist to a T. Yeah, she's a crazy mad scientist. <laughs> I, th I believe that she is for real. <laughs> it's nice to see that Greg Lamberson, who also made Slime City, hasn't forgotten how to use practical effects. We get some great blood shooting out of nipples and an amazing final scene. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it was fantastic. But what didn't we like? My biggest issue with this movie was it seemed to drag on a little bit. Maybe it was the back and forth between Betty going out with friends and doing different things and then going back to work. But it seemed like a big rotation of locations. A a location rotation, if you will. So you knew that the next time that she goes to the office, she's probably gonna go here, and it's gonna continue that way. And by the third time around, you're just a little exhausted, I think. I strongly felt the pacing is what really killed the mood in this film. We were laughing, we were entertained, but there were too many drawn out moments where we're expecting something to happen and we can kind of predict what's happening. I think that's one of the downsides of making like a full-on campy movie is that eventually the audience starts to realize it's oh it's really campy and they, they laugh but they're just kind of laughing. So it's, it's not to say that it was bad it just it's kind of draining on the audience. I felt that the cop duo wasn't really needed. They didn't add to the, the overall story. I felt like they were just there in most of the scenes kind of further along the plot. I think that they were really funny so I liked that they were in the movie. Oh yeah no they, they, they were pretty funny. I enjoyed it. Got a good eye kid. Thanks. My wife likes it. Just the one, though. Left. That's the one. We need other characters, because if we didn't have them, then we'd be following Betty, like, the entire time. That's fair. Maybe I'm just getting a little nitpicky. I was a little disappointed. In a movie called Killer Rack, where the focus was boobs, we didn't see a lot of boobs. Amen, brother. I completely <laughs> thought that we were going in, going to see, like, a ton of useless, pointless nudity, yeah. gratuitous even, and we didn't. Yeah. I think we got, like... 
one set of real ones. One set of real ones yep. and, and one set of fake ones. Yep. And <laughs> one it. set of demon ones. And there were boobs everywhere. They were just like drawings. What's the <laughs> <laughs> Is there like a like a female word for phallic? Like there's Mimeric figures all over the movie, so you could see like <laughs> boobs here and boobs there, yeah. but not here where they really counted. <laughs> now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. With a title like Killer Rack, what's not to like? I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was very funny, very campy, and right on the nose most of the time. I thought the cast really enjoyed what they were doing, and you could tell that they had a lot of fun making this movie. I thought the camera work was very well done and the production work was very high for the budget they actually had. So with all that said, I'm about to give this movie four crab walking Debbie Rashans out of five. I thought Killer Rack was a blast. It was just a really fun movie to watch. It's definitely super campy and cheesy. And if you like B-movies, you're going to like this movie because it's nonstop hilarity and over the top thrills for the whole movie. The production value was fantastic. The acting was surprisingly really well done, though I did find that it dragged a little bit towards the end. Of course, that is until the final act, which we can't talk about. So I'm gonna have to give this three and a half Lloyd Kaufman's rocking a sweet pair of cans out of five. Killer Rack is a very campy movie and it is very funny. I was overly entertained. I loved all the jokes. I thought each character was great and entertaining in their own respective ways. It was just a really fun time. My problem is the pacing dragged way too much that it really took away from some of the film. And a movie called Killer Rack with not a lot of nudity is kind of a letdown, but it's still hilarious. And that being said, I'm going to give this three Betty boob check charts out of five. As always, thank you for watching, like this video, and comment below with your favorite Lovecraftian horror film that is not in the Reanimator series. If you get a chance to check out Killer Rack, it is doing a festival circuit for the next little while, so check it out guys. And subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here to stay updated with our reactions, reviews, and games of What Would You Do. What Would You Do for this one's coming up on Friday.